Howdy. I am sleeping in a trailer tonight rather than my truck. I'm trading with my buddy Steve Wallace. We're out here on Vancouver Island. But first, I'm going to be going fishing. That's a better one. Happy to announce that these camp mugs are now available on mavmadeit.com in collaboration with Earthwell for one easy installment of $18.99. If you need a little bit more security with your hot beverages, we are also offering a thermos. These come in two different colors, so check them out now and get them while you can. <laughs> All right, hello from the sunny shores of Tofino, BC. It's wet and it's cold and it's getting old. I'm heading home. <laughs> I wanna get out of this town. As wonderful as it's been here, they haven't exactly been the kindest to camping. <sighs> Although it might look like this town is camper friendly, they're not really. Um, but they do have a lot of cute shops, good surfing, and pretty decent food. And expensive gas. That's per liter by the way. All right, so Steve and I were on the same ferry, which is pretty, pretty funny, really random. I called him like 20 minutes before I was gonna get there and just was seeing what his plan was if he was still coming out to the island and we are on the same ferry, so. I've been telling Steve I've been wanting to take him fishing for a while, and I don't know much about the Vancouver area, nor do I have the equipment right now to go for salmon. So, we're gonna hop on a boat. For those of you who don't know Steve, he runs his own YouTube channel, Steve Wallace. Steve actually recently got himself a new camping trailer, so tonight we're gonna be uh, switching vehicles. I'm gonna try camping in his little tiny micro camper, and I think he's gonna camp in my truck, so it'll be fun to be able to spread my spread my wings a little bit have a little more room to cook and camp tonight if we catch some fish we're gonna be doing a fish fry but first first we got to make it to the to the boat launch howdy How are you? good I think we got to find parking Howdy. Hey. What's going on? You know, the usual. <laughs> you excited to go fishing? Yeah, you, you all set. <laughs> yes, sir. Good. Helly Hansen. Upgrade. Yeah, it's like a, that's like a, you're like a sailor now. I think well, it's a sailing layers. brand. Oh, yeah. Layers, layers. Layers is important. So we're heading out onto the boat right now, and we're going to be going for some coho salmon. Said that fishing's been pretty good, and he said he set out some crab traps for us this morning, so we'll see uh, if we had any luck. Good. Sorry, we're probably a little bit late. It's nice and warm. It is. It's cozy. Yeah. So those are called downriggers. What he's using is like a big giant lead ball to get it deeper into the water. So you can see the, that's the lure right there. And that's, that's the only, as far back as it's gonna be from the boat, but what he's doing right now is making it deeper. So it's actually gonna be fishing a deeper part of the water column. Those big flashers on there, yeah. they spin under the water and attract fish. And then what they bite is that little squid looking thing. Oh, yeah. My fishing experience is like, catching a walleye so this is this is this is pretty uh there's a lot going on here i do get seasick but as long as i can see land i'm good you're up you're up boss 
All right, Steve's hooked up on a little coho. Or we don't know yet what it is, but he's got something on. All right. There you go. Hey, that was pretty smooth for your first one, man. No complaints there. <laughs> That's awesome. That, hey, I'm, I'll tell you what, that went a lot smoother than my first time reeling in a, a coho. Do you like cream and sugar in it at all? Here, boss. Hey, thanks. Very welcome. Another one. Yeehaw! Yeah, that wasn't much of a fight. I was questioning the whole time if I had a fish on or not. Oh, coho. 52 pounder. That's crazy, Stas. Thank you. That's a better one. I have a feeling this is going to be huge. I don't know about huge, but maybe bigger than the first one. There you go. That's a good one. Yeah. Stevie, yeah. you're up. You're up, sir. Like straight to your right, Steve. <laughs> oh boy, that's a good one. How about that? <laughs> nice work, dude. Oh, Steve, we got crabs. Lots of crabs. Lots and lots of crabs. Still be catch a deed. It's gonna pinch you. Crikey. He's dinner. Came from to tell the people that eventually have Oh, there's another one. Here it comes. What do you run samples on? Um, we take the little hole punch. Just take their DNA. Oh! Oh! Hi, bud. No worries, we got plenty of meat here. Awesome. Thanks again. Thank you. See you later. We got some good fish today. All right, see you soon. Well, we just got back from a little trip of catching our limit of salmon and a couple dungeness crab. Oddly enough, Steve doesn't like either of those things. Well, he's allergic to the crab, but doesn't like salmon. So I'm running to the grocery store right now and I'm going to pick up some fish, amongst other things. And then when I see him next, we're gonna do our switcheroo. It's like getting later in the season, we're fighting the uh, <clears throat> The curse of time right now, so I need to be very quick with this grocery store. Hold on. Would you like a bag today? Yes, please. Um, how much are the reusable ones? Uh, this one, these ones are free. Oh. Give you one free. Really? Thank you so much. Nice voice crack. I'm so excited. <laughs> and, and puberty again. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks again. Not bad. Only took us 20 minutes to get everything. So now 
off to the campsite and meet back up with Steve. There it is. All right, so we got the truck and the micro camper. Finally met up. As you can see, it's getting a little bit dark out, so gotta get the car situated and get to cooking. All right, we just paid for our campsite. I'm all situated over here. We gotta clean out the truck, actually, because Steve cannot stand there. That's how it is. <laughs> we gotta clean out the BLT. Is that is that its official name? BLT. Uh, working on it. Either Brave Little Toaster or Eggy. One of the two. <laughs> it's a cute. But it's a cute thing. I think it may be BLT. It's nice. BLT. Brave Little Toaster. Yep. Kind of quiet times and no parties. No, we don't party. <laughs> yeah. No parties. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Hey, thank hey, you very much. Thanks a lot. I'll I'll get to clean it on my truck. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're pretty much all cleaned up in here for the most part. I mean, it is a truck, so inherently it is relatively messy. But all of my trash and whatnot is gone. All right, so this is Steve's new pride and joy, the trailer I'm going to be spending the night in. It's called a little Bigfoot, and it's this cute little trailer here. See, there's a little table right there that breaks down into a bed. Got ample storage. Steve has a air fryer in here, which is always nice to have on the road. This one also goes down into a bed. See, there's a Dometic fridge in here even, and a full sink. So you could probably sleep up to, I'd say you could sleep three people in here if you guys are really cozy. Maybe four if you really, really, really like each other. See, it's just a single axle trailer, which is nice for towing. Nice, nice compact design towing on the road. It's a pretty sweet little rig. This has got to be the quickest campfire I think I've ever lit. Yeah. <laughs> this is cheating, Steve. Uh, yeah, so just got our, uh, our flint and steel here. Cool. Sweet. Well, thanks for letting me do that. Step two. Step two. Sock soda for those those that remember. All right, I'm enjoying myself a sparkling water. Step two. We're having a fire. And we're about to get cooking. It's drizzling outside, but it's not uh, unbearable. These trees actually provide some nice cover. So it's probably about 48, 49 degrees right now. I can tell you the exact temperature. 49, final answer. All right, Steve, this is my, this is my truck, and this is going to be your kitchen. Oh. This pulls all the way out. And this one, we have our pots and pans. So I'm gonna take one tiny one for doing the asparagus. There's cast iron in here. There's like that? Yeah, yeah. Alright, anyway, there's that. Spices, seasonings. Oh, you got everything. Mm hmm. And then oh. the more important things are in here. I'm a little embarrassed about the uh, status of my stove. Mm. It's very dirty, but propane stove. Oh, yeah. Wow, that looks, looks a little not circle, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this will be your humble boat. I'm stealing this as well. Do you want it? Do you want some? <laughs> Steve's gonna be on fish duty. I am on crab duty and asparagus. All right, garlic bread. Okay. Yum yum. Kachow. Hey Steve, is there is there bears here? Oh yeah. Oh, that's, that's good. All right, I'm leaving Steve this side of the fish and his and then I still got to take my filet off for the coals and Mr. Krabs camping. we're camping all right I'm stealing one of these from you yep. which one do you want yeah take this one. one okay hey Steve do you have a lighter for the uh stove thank you sir all right so what we're doing here is Steve is going to cook half of the salmon and half of the um, fresh cod that I just bought and I am going to prepare half 
how I would. And then we're gonna try each other's and see how we like it. First thing I wanna do is get that water boiling. That's the key to a good crab. So the way I'm gonna make fish is very simple. Just tin foil packets in the fire. Cooking my crab in there. Steve unfortunately can't try the crab. My goal here is to make Steve like salmon more than he likes this fish. I really want the skin to get crispy on the salmon. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to put them on the sheet and coat them generously in olive oil. Butter. Actually, in a pan fry, just one piece of salmon. Wait, mine's done. Already? <laughs> oh, Lord. Hello. Nice of you to join us. I'm going to the beach. Stash this somewhere. Oh man! Yeah. You are done. Yeah. What the heck? Of... That's a, a, a secret. Yeah. It's all ready, you can come sit down. I'm just trying to finish up the asparagus. Mm. We're all finished finally. Steve's, for reference, has been done for like 20 minutes now, so I feel bad because mine took a lot longer on the coals. We will eat you tomorrow. You're, uh, it's gonna be too much food. This looks awesome, man. Let's dig in. Yeah, let's dig in. Let's. Your, your salmon is super nice and moist. Like, you cooked it, like... Yeah, yeah. I think I overcooked both my fish. It could be. Like, they can be uh, they can be tricky. Is that another... Uh, that, this that one is the only one I pan-fried. I pan-fried this only one. Only pan-fried. Mm -hmm. And then the other boiled salmon's right here. After trying all four, I think that Steve actually takes the cake on both of the fish. Because... Dude, that garlic packed a punch. Nice work, man. The garlic, don't overcook it. And, yep. and the chili powder. Yep. It's uh, It all worked together. A nice little bit of heat. And... We make our popcorn the old-fashioned way. Coconut oil, spinning it by hand. Got dinner all cleaned up. Steve is making whirly popcorn. Popping I'm excited to try popcorn. it. Popping some popcorn. It's, uh, yeah, no, it's like literally like movie theater popcorn. See. That's awesome. <laughs> keep cranking that popcorn, man. Whoa! Keep cranking. That was so quick. <laughs> yeah, way better than microwave. Dang, Steve, you really popped off. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Whoops. Today was great. Like being out on the boat, hanging out, catching those fish, getting outside of my comfort zone. Cause like that's, I never do anything like that. And for the first time in a couple of months, I was, uh, you know, feeling genuinely happy today. So I have to thank you very much for that. You're very welcome. Maverick. Yeah. And I'm happy that, uh, I'm very thankful that I was able to give you that experience. Yeah. I'm, anytime you want to come fishing, you're, you're welcome to Minnesota also. Um, get some ice fishing done. Yeah, do some ice fishing. I've been telling you, I think one of the first comments I made on one of your videos was like, let's go fishing. <laughs> so when, I, when we met up for the first time we were filming, mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure we were going fishing. We did it. We did. <laughs> you broke it. Oh, shoot. Man. And they actually stay together pretty good too. We love to hear that. Like they don't separate. Like some of them, they. Yeah. And I'm I'm gonna upgrade that to memory foam, but I haven't yet. So. Feels like memory Sorry, foam. Sorry, that's me. that's all I got for you. Feels like memory foam to me. Okay. Sorry, all I got for you is my truck. <laughs> okay. See you, you in the morning. See you in the morning. When I was first starting out on YouTube, um. I would watch Steve's truck camping videos. He had a couple that were out and it gave me some inspiration for what I wanted to do. So it's pretty fun to be able to spend the day with him and do some fishing and make some memories. It's midnight though, and I usually don't stay up this late. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be heading to bed here. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. How was it? Cozy. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you slept was, okay in there? Yeah, how was the trailer? It was beautiful. Nice. Definitely need a memory foam mattress in there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, I love the mattress uh, in here. That was, that was fantastic. It's pretty nice, eh? Yeah. It was uh, very nice having all of this headroom. That's all I know. Definitely could use a uh, little more comfortable mattress in the... Oh and a taller door but overall i approve of the uh the blt all right thanks again it was fun fishing with you thanks thanks to you too man i appreciate you letting me stay in your trailer hey anytime <laughs> man anytime I gotta try to catch a ferry, so we're leaving yep. Steve. But it's been a miles. Keep an eye on your speed thermometer. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to keep my lead foot off the gas so hard, eh? All right, see you, Steve. Cheers. All right, so unfortunately for me, I have to try to make it to a ferry today. That's the reason why I'm leaving at 8 a.m. If I don't make this ferry, I don't know if I'm gonna make it home. on here I mean it it's like the last car the real reason I had to catch the earlier ferry is because it's the last day I can see this thing the billboard all right, well, it was fun hanging out with Steve. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you want to check out his video, I'll leave it in the description or you can just head over to his channel. But as always, until next time, you got to know the drill. Just keep on trucking.